Hey there everyone, it's Michael Zugo with eXp Realty. During this video, I'm going to share with you how our market has changed over the past 12 months. And I've got all the data as far as uh, the number of sales and the average price. The first chart I want to show you clearly shows the difference in the average price. The yellow line you see here is the average price in 2021. And the blue line you see here is the average price in 2020. So clearly the prices are higher in 2021, although there was a very large difference in the price in the end of March 2021 versus the end of March 2020. Although now the prices roughly are the same. However, in this chart here, we can see the activity with sales. And last year around this time, 54% of properties were selling above their asking price, but now 60% uh, of homes are selling above their asking price. And as you take a look at these numbers on a week by week basis across the white line, you can see that the majority of properties have been selling above their asking price in 2021. Like in the middle of May, 70% uh, of properties were selling above their asking price. And in the middle of March, 2021, 80% of properties were selling above asking price. And this is not just exclusive to Toronto detached homes. This is across all style of properties, even in the condo market. Whereas in the condo market last year, it was really quite rare to see bidding wars, even if a property was priced uh, somewhat competitively. And there is further evidence that the market has swayed more in the favor of sellers based on this chart over here, because you can see that the number of active listings in 2021 and 2020 is relatively similar. There were only 7% more active listings, yet look at the increase in sales. There was only about 4,600 sales in this month last year and in 2021 there was 160 percent more at almost 12,000 sales so we can see the supply has been somewhat stable but there has definitely been an increase in the demand which is leading to higher prices and then lastly with respect to the condo market based on this chart over here you can see that there hasn't been too much of an increase with the average price unlike freehold properties like detached homes however this chart really doesn't tell the whole story because what so is the days on market is a lot lower than what it was about 12 months ago. For example, right now, a property is taking about 13 days to sell from the time that it comes on the market. Whereas if we look at the numbers last year, around this time, it was taking 23 days to sell. And furthermore, um, condos were very unlikely to sell over their asking price. Last year, they were selling around 98% of their list price. So maybe the reason that this is happening is because before there were a lot of buyers that wanted to buy houses. However, now they've been priced out of the detached market or the semi-detached market and they decided to buy condominiums and therefore we're seeing bidding wars and we're seeing properties sell significantly over the asking price in some cases. But I would say the condo market is very volatile right now because of the fact that vacancy rates have increased. So we'll be monitoring the condo market closely. If you got value from this video, then consider subscribing. I post updates regularly. And if you're an ambitious real estate agent looking to connect for opportunity, then do contact me. Uh, my contact information is in the description box below. And hey, if you're considering buying or selling, I'd love to help. Uh, my phone number is 416-671-5218. Call me, call me, call me, and I'll look forward to seeing you all next time.